Hi my YouTube people, welcome to part one of my psychic reading on Will Smith. In part two, I will be pulling tarot cards on Will Smith, the future of Will Smith. So if you want to look into the future of Will Smith even further, in part two through the cards, in part one, I will just be channeling the energies of the future of Will Smith after this whole Oscar fiasco. So if you want to see part two, once again, become a member of my YouTube channel by clicking the join button. It should be next to the subscribe button. Um, you may have to get on a computer or something like that to view the join button. Once you see the join button, once you see the join button, pick a tier for your membership and you will have access to part two of this video along with part two of all my other videos. Thank you for listening and watching. Um, I just got done doing some personal readings for some clients, so I figured I'd record another video on Will Smith because this is still kind of a hot topic. Um, and it's just sad to see, you know, as as black men, you know, like, you know, all this rigmarole and drama, you know, when it's just like it should be a big moment for black excellence, right? So anyways, I just kind of want to see what the future of Will Smith is check out my reading I did about a week ago on Jada Jada Pinkett Smith and then I did a reading on Will Smith maybe about three weeks ago now um, so there's so much for you to catch up on if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe like share also if you want a personal reading I am available for personal readings on my website lamartownsandtarot.com that's where you can get a reading from me among other things to view all the you know product services and things I offer and classes all right, this is my website, so once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. Uh, this is my website, so check out my Twitch where I do monthly horoscope readings. Of course, subscribe, like, share to my YouTube, become a member of my Patreon, where I also do exclusive content. I just did a reading with Cleopatra, actually, on my Patreon, where we talk about how to stay healthy and sick-free in the modern world. Um, I also, of course, have my Spotify, where I do um, podcast episodes and things like that. You can scroll down and view reviews from people who have verified purchase readings from me. Um, and also follow me, of course, on my Instagram and Facebook as well. All right. Um, if you want a reading from me, once again, go right to the store section of my website. This is where you can view all the rate services and products that I do offer currently. And I do offer quite a lot. I do birth chart readings, both compatibility birth chart readings, individual birth chart readings. I do mediumship readings if you want to connect to your ancestors, spirit guides, those who have passed on. I do past life readings if you want to learn about your past lives. I do spiritual development classes. I do phone psychic tarot readings, email psychic tarot readings, video recorded psychic tarot readings. I do astrology classes. I do candles. I do... Um, Dream interpretation readings, I do tarot classes, and so much more. I also sew, I sell African black soap, so if you'd be interested in any of these things, once again, check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Thank you all for listening and watching, and follow me on my TikTok as well, Vimeo, and my other platforms. Keep in touch with me on there too. Let's go ahead and get right into the energy. Um, remember, part one will just be channeling. Part two will be pulling some cards on Will Smith and his future. In order to see part two, you do have to be a member of my YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and do a cleansing of the energies with a singing bowl. All right. Thank you, Spirit. For allowing me to connect to the energy of Will Smith and what is the future of Will Smith. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energy, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. Thank you for allowing me to see and channel the energy of what the future of Will Smith is. Thank you for allowing me to give insight and clarity in the name of the Mother, the Daughter, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. There we go. All right. Spirit, what is the future of Will Smith? I'm seeing a lot of alone time, a lot of time thinking, reading, um, developing other skills. I feel like outside of acting, outside of the entertainment industry, I don't know why I see him golfing, so I don't know if he's already a golfer or I feel like he definitely will take up golfing. 
I don't know why I could see him being a golfer already, already, though. It's like maybe something he already was interested in. You know how sometimes you pick up a hobby and then, like, you put it down for several years or months? I feel like he's going to pick up golfing again. I don't know why I get golfing. Let me take a sip of my coffee. It's early in the morning. I'm still waking up. Even though I got back from the gym about two hours ago. Um... Speaking of gym, I do see him going to the gym more, focusing on his fitness. I don't know why I literally see, like, a cookbook coming from him or a fitness book. I don't know if I've ever known Will Smith to be a cook. Let me know if he cooks or something like that. I don't know why I see you. He could collaborate with someone, though. I feel like he deals with whatever it is. He deals with fitness, health, a health journey, fitness journey, something like that I'm seeing. I think from the in terms of the industry, he could take a little bit of a break. I don't know. I'm seeing the number three, so it could be a three month break, a three three period break. So I don't know if there's periods in the industry where it's like a, you know, um, like an annual or a semi annual kind of like thing. I'm you know I'm not in the industry yet, you know, um, but I'm getting slowly and more interested in getting back into acting and stuff like that. So, but, um, I feel like that's something that deals with, like, the jargon of the industry. So, I don't, I'm just picking up on that. Um. Or it could be a three-year period, though. But I think even if he takes a three-year, three-year break from the industry, he's still going to be doing things. He may just not be so out there, as usual. Like, I feel something particularly about YouTube. I don't know why I do see endorsements for him. I don't know why I see earphones or headphones. It feels like, once again, it could be fitness related. Like, I almost could see Will Smith in a Nike commercial or a Nike advertisement for basketball or something like that. Which could eventually tie into a movie, a movie deal. You know, I think Will Smith is someone where he's smart, but he also has smart people around him who know how to market him. I feel like he knows how to market himself, but I feel like Will Smith is kind of a pretty much a simple man. Like he's someone who it's like, I just do the basics, I just show up, I act, I leave the rest up to the other people I hire. He's like that kind of person. Where he's he is actually kind of spiritual in a lot of ways, religious, whatever you want to call it. I feel like a mix between the two. But he like, I don't know why I get there's something with him where he like he like calls on God to bring the right people into his life. Or this could be something that he like prays about, pray you know prays on. I don't. I feel like I'm like intruding on his prayers. I'm like okay, spirit, like you know. All right. Um, I'm seeing like an egg, but like an egg that hatches. So I, I don't know why I feel like there could be pregnancy around him or like maybe one of the children gets pregnant, you know, or, you know, get someone pregnant. Like, I don't know why I'm seeing an egg hatching. It could be metaphoric for something like a, a like an, a, an idea a light bulb that goes off on his head, like in his head, or something hatches. Something shows up at the right timing for him. So, yes, he's going through his turmoil, trials, and tribulations, but he will not go through these trials and tribulations forever. That's definitely what I'm seeing about Will Smith. I don't know why I see an entryway or part of his entryway back into the public eye or the favor of the public eye, the favor of the powers that be, whatever you want to call it. It deals with health and fitness I keep getting or like cooking, something like that. Because he's a fit guy for the most part, but there's something where in his mind he's let himself go. Or, like, there's something with that, where during his process of healing, 
during his process of taking a break and I say quotes because I feel like even though he's taking a break he's still working and I get the number three again so it's like a three week break a three month break a three year break but we're still going to see him do stuff like he's not going to just completely disappear off the face of the earth right um I feel like there's like a focus on health and fitness and getting in shape And that being attached to mental health, spiritual health. Like, there's something about that where we may see that more out of him. I feel like we're going to see a lot of self-development things come out of Will Smith. Alright? Over these next several months, weeks, years. I I get seven. So I feel like seven months, seven seven weeks, seven years. There's like a focus on self-development. I feel like this situation with the Oscars and with, with all the, all that's going on has really kicked him into overdrive of how do how do you, how does one sustain themselves in their older years? Because I believe Will Smith is in his maybe forties or maybe fifties. I'm not sure. He looks great for his age, however old he is. But you know, he's he, he spirit is kind of showing at least within the period once again of seven years. There's a little bit of maturity. He's going to be in age by that point. I don't know why I'm also seeing him do classes or something like that. Or speak in front of like... It's almost like public speaking but teaching. I don't know why I see him like teaching about branding. About acting. Acting classes. It's interesting. I do see him with his own TV show. But it feels like almost like a variety show or it's like a mix of different things going on where it's like a variety show, a talk show, a game show. It's like a lot going on with this show, but I I do feel like there's a possibility for Will Smith to get his own TV show. I'll say within the next five years. It doesn't feel like a sitcom. He could be connected to a sitcom, but I feel like I see some sort of success with the, like a, like almost like a variety TV show, a variety show, the Will Smith show. But it's like skits, but also talk show, but also this, that, and all in between kind of thing. I do see him getting into lifestyle, lifestyle content as well. I don't know why I see him changing diapers. Okay. This is getting a little drama. Drama for me. Drama, 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 spirit. All right. Let me take some, drink some coffee to ground myself, honey. I don't know if this is someone once again around him who gets pregnant and then he becomes an uncle, a great uncle, a grandfather, or whatever it is. This is all alleged for entertainment purposes only. I'm wondering if he gets into a relationship with someone else. And there could be rumors of pregnancy. I don't know why I'm literally seeing the headlines about Will Smith, a father, all over again. Or playing the role of a father all over again. Like... Maybe it's a a show, a movie, or it could be real life. Allegedly for entertainment purposes only. I think we're going to end the reading there. What last messages do we have for part one about Will Smith? And then once again in part two, we'll get into the cards to confirm. Or delve into more tea, maybe. I think ultimately Will Smith is going to seek... And he could already have his own. I'm seeing something about a production company. So I feel like he wants his own production company. Or this is something he will seek out in the near future. Almost like a Tyler Perry. Don't be surprised if we see that once again in the next five years. Because I think there's something where this situation has taught him where his weaknesses are. But also where his strengths lie. In terms of 
his career, his standing right now, his standing in the public eye, but also his standing with the powers that be, the people behind the scenes, all right? Very interesting. All right, well, we're going to get into the rest in part two. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you for be, being members. Um, all 80, over 80 of you, almost not over 90 of you at this point. I'll see you all in part two. If you want to become a member, hit the join button. If you want your own personal reading, I am available. My books are currently clear. So if you get your read, if you purchase a reading today, you'll most likely get it the same day or within the next day or two. All right. So definitely reach out. Phone, pri phone readings get top priority. So if you want a phone reading, you'll get that most likely the same day. All right. All right, you guys, love and light. I'll see you in part two. I'll see you in your own personal reading. Either way, I'll see you soon. Love and light and Will Smith, we wish you the best. God bless.